NQ Minerals, the company responsible for restarting the Helia gold mine, are focusing on the growing electric car market in their second Tasmanian venture. They've recently acquired nickel cobalt producer Tasmanian Energy Metals and are set to build a combined processing facility at Bell Bay. Director Steve White explained to Hugh Hogan why the two companies are perfectly matched. There was a, a, a real distinction came for the fact that we could create an integrated facility uh, in, in, in that regard, integrated by way of being able to process and get the greatest benefit out of our pyrite concentrate as well as to co-produce nickel and cobalt on their site. So they produce nickel and cobalt and why is it that your operations here at Hellier are so suited? A large part of the minerals that are in our dam is sulphur. We send a lot of our sulphur across to China in the pyrite concentrate which contains the gold and silver and the single biggest cost for nickel cobalt project is sulfuric acid. So by combining and integrating the facilities, we can make their single biggest cost a profit generator. So we will uh, be roasting the pyrite at the Barnes Hill and Bell Bay facility and uh, that will enable them to have a much, or us to have a much lower cost for the production of nickel and cobalt, whilst at the same time being able to get a lot more value because we'll be able to produce gold and silver bars, Dore. And nickel and cobalt is set to be uh, increasing, is that right, because of use in electric cars? Electric vehicles, yeah, and I think strategically that's a great thing for us because when you look at the two cycles of, you know, the electric vehicle type metals, uh, nickel, cobalt, lithium, etc., and the polymetals and precious metals, they, they, they're they on a seesaw with each other in the market. So that, that combines well, but it also combines well for us to have a story, but particularly that integrated nature of the facility. Will this facility at Bell Bay be new? It'll be a new facility built and it'll be have a, a capital expenditure in the range of 200 million uh, US dollars. It will, but it's, uh, Bell Bay is, you know, cited, it's an industrial area, it's a deep port, Rio Tinto are there, BHP are there, there's, there's a lot of industry there, so, so all of the um, you know, it's fairly straightforward in relation to the permitting and things, which which is obviously a big big area of concern in in mining and particularly in a environmentally sensitive place like Tasmania. How many people do you expect to be employed in this new facility? Um, I'm not sure exactly how how many. It depends on the level of automation, but I imagine that it will be you know in the range of similar for um, Helia, which is you know, in that range of 50, 60, um, perhaps more. How is the recent world trade situation looking like for your minerals that NQ Minerals produces? Well, extremely good. I mean, gold's going up, the base metals of lead and zinc. Lead, lead and zinc concentrate are 75% of our revenues here, and um, but, but that'll change with the combined facility, with the ability to be able to convert the sulphur to sulfuric acid and also to get that kick of, of the producing the gold and silver doray. But the big one that's on the, uh, moving fast is nickel. And nickel is, nickel is the metal that gives the electric vehicles the ability to go distance. So you, rather than 100 kilometres, you can go to 200 kilometres. So it's nickel is fundamental in the electric vehicles. And nickel price is just continuing to rise. And out of that facility, 40% of that will be uh, nickel production. Possibly around uh, 18% will be gold, uh, Dore, about 10% lead silver and probably about 6% cobalt. And in terms of production, how much are you expecting it to do? I'm not sure exactly the, the number of tonnes. We haven't finalised the number of tonnes we'll be putting out per year, but um, I think it's, it's around about 5,000 tonnes of nickel in, in, the, in the sort of overall scheme of things. So, you know, there's very significant sort of revenues that will come out of that in, into the billions of dollars. Uh, in terms of revenue. So. The Hell Your Mind was your first venture into Tasmania and now you're doing another big one, so you're obviously very confident about the state? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's an open door policy. I mean, we, we work in, in other states of Australia and countries of the world and, and it's, it's just really refreshing to have this Tasmanian approach which is genuinely helpful. You know, that they, they still carry the stick and make, you know, you've got to jump over all the hurdles and there's lots of those but you know we're here for the long haul and we understand that you know we're here at Helia we went and talk, started talking to them two or three years ago and said we were going to do that we now can say and they can see that okay we've done what we're going to say 
we've done what we said we were going to do and now we need to do that likewise at the uh, with Tasmanian Energy Metals and you know trust is built over time and, and the same goes for the community so we hope to be able to demonstrate a environmental um, clean up of Hellia continuing work hopefully be a hub for uh, other exploration and minerals within the area to produce those metals after the 10 year life cycle here and uh, and go on beyond um, the Barnes Hill and Bell Bay project to, to other projects. That's Steve Wine, Director of Hellier Gold Mines, chatting there to Hugh Hogan. Well, the Hellier mine's been ramping up production after reopening late last year. The facility processes tailings or residue from the original mine to produce concentrates like lead, zinc and pyrite. General Manager Phil Sterling says they're now running above their original projection on throughput and also recovery. It's going well. Um, uh, throughput, we are, um, uh, in terms of amount of ore fed to the plant, we are uh, achieving even above uh, the original uh, expectations. Uh, recovery, we are getting there. Quality of the corn, uh, we are achieving already. So it's more work, working on the um, metallurgical uh, performance, metal recoveries. But in, we have already days that, that we are achieving more than we expected originally, uh, even uh, independently of head grade, even head grades in line with the, with, the, with the design, if you like, of the budget, or slightly below, we are still achieving better recoveries than... And that recovery is the percentage of mineral you're getting from the tailings? Yeah, of metal achieved, uh, uh, recovered as concentrate from the tailings, yeah. So what was the recovery rate you originally planned for? For, for lead was... Um, 47% recovery with 36 to 38% lead in corn and, and zinc uh, was a 37%, 38% uh, metal recovery yeah, with uh, 45 to 47% uh, zinc in corn. And in terms of throughput, how much is the mine doing at the moment? We've been working around uh, 110, uh, some days like... 110 last, tons? 110 tons per hour fed to the mill and um, in some days even 120, a bit more. We're just testing the, how far can we go as well, just testing the boundaries there, uh, achieving quality and metal recoveries as per the plan, yeah. Is the plant at full capacity yet? I don't think so, no. I think there, there, there are opportunities on any, any of those dimensions, uh, be it throughput, uh, recoveries or quality. I think we, there are lots to explore still. But you've already hit those marks you were aiming for. Yeah, yeah, we did. And, and we have just going through uh, two weeks that we are essentially uh, uh, operating without the primary grinding circuit, yep. the ball mill. So because most of the material that we fed, well, it has already been processed. Uh, it has always been the belief that we we'll need to regrind the, uh, the whole feed. And we are proving that we don't. In, if we show that we can operate most of the time like this, the enormous savings for the company and, and the metallurgical performance is uh, the same or better than anticipated. So. That's Phil Sterling, General Manager of Operations at Hellier Goldmine, talking there to our reporter Hugh Hogan on the Country Hour. NQ Minerals, the company.